welcome to Cup and Quill's second tea tasting video. I'm Katherine Mitchell, and this is my favorite person and husband, Jason Mitchell. And we are expanding mostly my tea horizons and tasting different kinds of tea than the ones that I typically take. Um, as we talked about last time, uh, we are working through our black tea major selections, and today we're going to be trying two teas. The uh, first one we're going to try is Lapsang Souchong, and the second is Pu'er. And these teas are very, very different from each other. Um, Lapsang Souchong uh, actually has a notoriously smoky flavor. And I can tell you, as I was preparing the tea, pouring it into the teapot and adding the water, it actually kind of smells like barbecue. Um, mm. So <laughs> we'll see. Waiting for Memorial Day. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. And um, the Pu'er on the other side, um, I think I've had once before, and it's typically pretty smooth and almost vanilla-y, so we'll have a nice, sharp contrast today. And something that I've learned about black tea since the last time that we came is that black tea actually came about as a bit of a shelf life extending um, necessity, um, because back when people were primarily trading uh, with China for their tea, China actually... Um, mostly produced green tea, but when they would take the cakes of green tea either over land or over um, the ocean, by the time the green tea got to wherever it was going, a lot of it had molded. So uh, the Chinese invented a way of preserving the tea, and so they um, oxidized and smoked the uh, tea before um, putting it in bags and whatever, and basically it made the tea black and um, also tasted better on the other side. So one of the reasons that um, Europeans typically drink black tea is not so much because Europeans don't like green tea, it's because back in the day um, that was the way that the tea came to them because they were too far away for it to stay green and in good condition. So without further ado, we're going to try Lapsang Sushang. Hopefully I am saying it correctly. Um, and you'll be able to smell it, Jason, before you um, take a sip. I can smell it from here, and it really does. It smells like wood chips <laughs> or something. And I don't know if you can quite see, but it's rather pale, which is surprising to me. Ooh, it does smell like wood chips. <laughs> so we're going to take it black first. Take in the garden. Of... Did. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, you didn't. <laughs> okay. So let's take it black first and then we'll add sugar and milk to give it a fighting chance. It's very stronger than I thought it would be. Mm hmm. Yeah, but it doesn't look bold. I mean, that's, that's interesting, like that it doesn't look bold, but it, it no. has a very strong flavor still. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't dislike it as much as I thought. I thought it would be almost... There's a little bit more of a spiciness to it that I, I hadn't expected. Like it doesn't smell spicy to me, but it's got like an aftertaste of spice to me. Almost like like a glaze in my hand. Mm. A little bit. But I haven't put any sweetness right, in yeah, anything, so that's not... Yeah. No. Yeah, let's, let's add, um, I normally take my PG Tips tea with uh, milk and sugar, so in order to figure out if I actually like it or not, I figure I should at least add the same things I add to PG Tips. I'm glad to try to here first. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of Memorial Day, yeah, it, it does remind me of the grill. It's just so different than what I'm used to. But it, it tastes more like 
not a chai, but something. It's a little malty. Not as malty as a song, though. No, it wasn't. I'm actually, I'm not enjoying it as much as I enjoy PG Tips, but I am surprised at how much I am enjoying it, too. So, on your scale of, what what did you rank, rank uh, of PG Tips at? Have, like a seven, I think? Did I really? I thought so. Um, well, it, if that's a seven, I would say this is a six and a half. I mean, it's just a little under, and it's kind of like what I would like to have as a tea, like if I were in a cat getaway or something. <laughs> I think um, my my PG tips on the teas I like scale so far is I think at an 8.5. I would probably put that at maybe a six or five and a half. Mm -hmm. It's not my it's not my favorite. I feel like I just drank wood chip juice, but it's not nearly as strong as I thought it would be. So I'm surprised by that. Okay. Can you pay for this one? Uh, sure. What's this here that we're pouring? This is Pu'er, and it is a, it's known for being a particularly uh, smooth tea. Now this looks like it's steeped five times as long as the other. Yes, it's much darker. Um, Did but, it steep the same amount of time? As uh, just about. They were both steeped between three to five minutes, which um, in the black tea you want your water to be pretty hot, so either boiling at 212 degrees or just off the boil. Um, so yeah, let's try the pu'er. So we're taking it black first. They may have seen my burnout, I don't know. <laughs> you don't I'm like not it? Not particularly like that. Really? Even though it, it's so much smoother than mm. the smoky thing you just had. That's true. That's true. You don't have to like it, that's why I wanted another opinion. I mean, I like the hint of like the almost like a current or elderberry sort of undertone, but other than that, I don't particularly like it. Okay. Well, but I mean, let's put sugar and milk in it as well. I'm yeah. Eager to try it that way. It's definitely, it's definitely smoother and darker than the Lapsang Souchon. Um, but I don't really like it either. <laughs> Which is good to note because I think in Tea Time magazine I saw instead of a, instead of like a Valentine's chocolates, they had a, a Valentine uh, heart shaped cakes of puer tea. You don't ever have to buy that for me. Mm. Put that on, on your list of non Christmas gifts. Yeah. Or Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day gifts, actually. <laughs> I like the look of it. I mean, it's really almost as dark as coffee. Yeah. Right, Let's see what happens when we add the milk. See if look any better then. And I wouldn't say it tastes older, even though it looks like it. No! It just, uh, yeah. I do, yeah, I do, but I'd put that at like a four on my scale. Probably. I would drink it mm -hmm. if it was served to me. I would, but um, I wouldn't choose it. Yeah, of the two, so you definitely liked the first tea better then. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm. So, I'm really surprised that the like that I liked the first one better because I was not expecting to. Um, but I think I would probably put this one at slightly below. I think I'd put this one probably at five. Right. Five. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. Well, great. Thanks for joining us as we are expanding our flavor horizons. Still liking PG Tips. Still liking PG Tips. PG Tips is still winning. But there is one tea that I have had before that I have actually liked better. So I'm looking forward to trying that one with you next time. Sounds good. But anyway, thank you guys. Hello, welcome 
to Cup and Quill's second tea tasting video. I'm Catherine Mitchell, and this is my husband and favorite person, Jason. Jason Mitchell. <laughs> Let me try it again. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can stay here. I'll just edit this out. Okay. <laughs> They were actually steeped about the same amount of real day. guys and oh before we yes. end our tea let's have our perfect accoutrement never hate tea but <laughs> let me try it again